Hello and welcome to TVC News Update at 4. It has been a rainy day in Lagos as the rainfall, which lasted over four hours, caused floods, destroyed buildings in many parts of the state. In Maryland area, National Emergency Management Agency has confirmed the rescue of nine persons from a sinking building at number 47 Akinwumi Street, Akinwumi North Estate Mendy, in Maryland area of Ikeja. The State Territorial Coordinator of NEMA, Ibrahim Farin Loye, explained that the landlord of the building has been handed over to the police for failure to contact emergency responders when the incident occurred. Other agencies who are on ground to save the situation include the Lagos State Emergency Management Agency, the State Fire Service, and Police Disaster Management Unit. Governor of Anambra State, Chukuma Charles Soludo, has condemned the attack by yet to be identified gunmen on Ifa Uba's convoy. Senator Oba is the senator representing Anambra South Senatorial Zone and was reported to have narrowly escaped bullets of some gunmen when his convoy was attacked at Enugu Uku Road in Unjikoka local government area. Eyewitness said about 10 persons died in the attack, which was suspected to be an assassination attempt. Governor Soludo reassured that security agencies are on full alert to fish out the perpetrators of this heinous attack who will be made to face the full wrath of the law. He also commiserates with the senator and families of his aides and the state commissioner of police for their loss. And to the lingering strike embarked on by the members of the Academic Staff Union of Universities, where the National Industrial Court of Nigeria has adjourned the suit filed by the federal government challenging the ongoing strike till 16th September. Presiding Judge Justice Polycap Haman said he was only a vacation judge, as the case would be assigned to another judge for adjudication. The federal government approached the National Industrial Court for an interpretation of provisions of Section 43 of the Trade Disputes Act with respect to payment of wages during strikes and lockouts, specifically dealing with the rights of employers and employees during the period of any strike or lockout. The federal government also wants the interpretation in, in its entirety, the provisions of Section 18 of the LFN 2004, especially as it applies to cessation of strike once a trade dispute is apprehended by the Minister of Labor and Employment and conciliation is ongoing. And wives of the All Progressives Congress presidential candidate and vice presidential candidate Uluremi Tinubu and Nana Shetima have made donation of food items and other basic items to the internally displaced persons camp in Abuja. Senator Tinubu says the familiarization visit is aimed at easing hardships faced by the IDPs and reminding them they are not alone. Correspondent Habida Lawal reports. Since 2009, northeast and northern parts of Nigeria have been ravaged by an insurgency, terrorist activities, kidnapping and banditry. Over a million have been displaced, making women and children the most vulnerable without shelter and daily food supply. Oftentimes, they rely on donations such as this to survive. Because before APC... This visit by Olura Mitinubu and Nana Shatima to this camp, they say, is to have a first-hand experience of the conditions under which those with special needs live and to offer support. They insist that this visit to Karamajiji Ward of Guarimpa and Yargoje Community of Abuja Municipal Area Council is not to campaign. This is like a familiarization tour to every part of Abuja, to know the people who have like special needs, so and just try to see how we can ameliorate whatever they are going through. Because you know, in situations like this, they are more like voiceless. So we are here to see and assure them that you know these are things. At least we, as spouses of uh, the, if God puts happen to you know, get us to that exalted position, we, we don't just go there blindly without really understanding what is in our community and all our environs. So we are going to be doing that and also seeing what is going on around us and see how we can meet the needs of our Donations such as these are bound to have a positive impact on the well-being of the inhabitants of not only the IDP camp, but the community that hosts them. Habida Lawal, TVC News. Abuja. In the nation's capital, Speaker of the House of Representatives Femi Bajabi Amila has charged parliamentary reporters to uplift the legislature and safeguard the nation's democracy through information disseminated to the public. 
The speaker spoke at a three-day capacity building workshop for parliamentary correspondents. National Assembly correspondent Joke Adisa reports. In the eye of the public is made up of individuals who drain the nation's scarce resources for no justified cause. In recent times, there have been calls for the scrapping of one of the chambers of the National Assembly as a means of saving the country from enormous budgetary allocations to this arm of government. Yet, the legislature is the fulcrum of democracy and defines the concept of civilian rule. This three-day workshop is to further boost the capacity of accredited newsmen covering the National Assembly on ways of better projecting the institution as crucial to sustaining the country's nascent democracy. The Ninth House of Representatives embraces the press, understands the press, and is rooting for a press that is unbiased, objective, and professional. Without the media, there cannot be a functional democracy or political participation in any democratic society. Here, Gathered is a very unique arm of the media, parliamentary reporters. I'm sure a lot of people don't understand how critical and how unique the legislature is. Speaker Femi Bajabi Amila insists the parliament is unjustly persecuted and misunderstood. And you hold power to account, ensuring that those who are chosen to serve the public interest keep faith with the citizens who depend on them. Democracy will not long survive without a vibrant, independent, innovative, and patriotic press. Deepening legislative knowledge through critical reporting is the theme of the workshop. It's not that we know it better. It's just that we can, we can, we can, we can filter what the people are saying, which is our role as journalists. The key and most critical pieces of legislation that we needed to have passed in this assembly, we have actually passed them. So we've done the Electoral Act, we've done the Petroleum Industry Bill. As political campaigns hot up in a matter of days, journalists in Nigeria admonish to prioritize the nation's unity by focusing more on issues other than personalities. Joker Edson, TVC News, Abuja.